This video will give you all of the knowledge you need to become a 5.0 level singles player in under 30 days. It's up to you to put the work in. The first thing we should know, in singles, the serve and the return are the most important shots of the point, completely different than doubles. We really wanna go for our serves because if we get a bad return back from it, it will make winning the point so easy. The courts are soaking wet, so we're not gonna go all out. I just wanna show you that serving big really rewards you with an easy point. The key to this is, since I'm serving so hard, when Ridley's hitting his return, I'm hitting my next shot while he's still in the middle of the court running up. This gives me so many angles and so much more room to make the ball dip. I feel no pressure as the person hitting the shot, as opposed to Ridley hitting a great return and being established at this line while I'm hitting my next shot. It puts a ton of pressure on me when somebody's standing up here real big. Same thing with our return of serve. We wanna make sure it's as deep as possible, making it the hardest time for our opponent to hit that third shot. We do this by fully hitting our return of serve before we start to move. The absolute depth of your singles game will be you trying to hit a return of serve and running through it. You have to fully hit the shot before you move. This is the proper way. This is the wrong way. Moving through your returns will really hurt with consistency and power, especially on the backhand. The backhand is hard enough to generate power, so as soon as you hit through it, you'll have none. We want to keep in mind that consistency is so important over anything else. I see so many players not even allow them to get into the match because they'll miss so many returns and so many serves. Make sure you're making your opponent play every single point. No freebies. This next concept is a game changer. If you get passed a lot, you'll want to hear this. I never noticed this subtle thing until I watched hours of professional footage, which gave me the answer I was looking for. It's the concept of when you hit your return of serve and you're running to the line, when should you split step? Here, up here, when is the right time? The correct answer is it doesn't matter where you are on the court. It matters when your opponent is hitting the ball. So when my opponent is about to hit their third shot from my return, whether I'm here or I'm up here, wherever I am, I need to stop and split step. It will be a complete disaster if your opponent is about to hit the shot and you're running through trying to get to the line. It doesn't matter where you are. Split step and get ready to pounce when they're attacking the third shot. The goal is for you to be at the kitchen line in a split step when your opponent is gonna hit the ball. That'll make it the easiest for you. When you get caught running up, that's when things get tough. This all stems from hitting a good return. If people are easily passing you, it means you're hitting bad returns. I want you to see and notice where I am on the court and where I'm split stepping when Ridley hits the third shot, so after my return. In that case, I hit a bad return, so I split stepped in the middle of the court and guessed which way. Like I said, it's soaking wet, so Ridley's hitting the ball right to me. That one, I was still a little slow. I was about one foot behind the kitchen line, still giving him the advantage. That one was perfect. I was established at the kitchen line in a split step when he was about to hit the ball. That gives me the best chance to win. The majority of players have a really weak backhand, especially at the 5.0 level and below. I always wanna return my balls and serve my balls to the opponent's backhand. Before we go on to the next tip, I wanna say that I'm officially signed and partnered with Carbon. I originally started my social media channels to get sponsorship to help with funding to pursue my lifelong dream of becoming a professional pickleball player. With Carbon's help, it makes my dream a reality. I'm going to be playing the majority of the PPA tournaments to test my luck and see if it's possible. I'm so thankful for them believing in me 
and the loyal fan base and community that we've built. If you purchase anything from Carbon's website, when you check out, use code TANNER and it'll give you 10% off and it'll give me a small kickback on every sale made. So it'll make it a little easier for me out of pocket every tournament I play. The link to their website and my code will be in the description down below. The next thing we're gonna cover is my personal favorite shot. It's when we hit a great serve, we get a weak return that's in the mid court and you have too much time and so many options on what shot to hit. The shot is an inside out aggressive drop, but what makes it special is we're gonna body fake this way, making our opponent come this way. It's a winner every time. The key to this shot is you wanna tell yourself and truly believe that you're gonna be hitting across your body so you want to sell it with your shoulders, with your hips, your body language. And then when you hit the ball and you pull that way, it sells it and they get faked out like clockwork. The last tip that we're going to cover is if I'm the server and my opponent hits a really deep return and they have me hitting the next shot from back here, what do we do with this ball? We do not want to try to drive it through them. We want to hit a sharp, aggressive drop to one of the corners in the kitchen. This is what it should look like. As opposed to this. When I get pressured with a deep return and I'm hitting that sharp drop from back here, it allows me, while it's traveling through the air, to follow it in and crash. Since I'm hitting it from so far back, it's going to be aggressive if it lands in the kitchen and my opponent's only option will be to try to scoop and pick it up. And since I'm right here, it will allow me to come on and smoke it. If you do the wrong thing and decide to drive it off of your back foot, since your opponent's established at the kitchen line, you're way out of position. It's next to impossible to try and pass them. If you've learned anything in this video, subscribe and send my channel to one friend to help spread the knowledge.